Let's take a typical template from the web store. In this case, we'll use one of the wedding templates. All our templates are in Word format, so you'll need to have Microsoft Word on your computer. Once you've opened the template on your computer, you'll notice it's sectioned into different areas using text boxes. Most templates include a prominent headline, an offer, a strong guarantee, testimonials, some kind of call to action including a limit on numbers, and of course contact details, all as separate text boxes. Remember, the offers you'll find in the templates are only a guide, but as a general rule it's always better to add value to your services with add-ons that cost you very little to provide but have high perceived value for the client. And don't forget, every single aspect of a treatment or service should be given a nominal value. Click on the area of the template you'd like to modify. Of course you'll want to insert your own contact details. Once you've clicked on the text box, a small black flashing vertical line will appear. Hold the mouse down, swipe over the existing text and simply type in your own in its place. Now, a couple of tips. If you want to include more text than the text box allows for, insert the cursor anywhere inside the text box and then hit Ctrl A on a PC or Command A on a Mac, which highlights all the text in that box. Then make sure the Home tab is selected at the top of the screen. Then you can change the size of the font from the drop-down menu. You can also change the colour of the text by highlighting the text again and choosing a different colour in the drop-down menu. Beware of using lots of different colours. Usually, black and the odd highlight in red is more than enough emphasis. If you want to move a text box around, do the following. Click inside the text box and a dotted blue line will appear. Hover your mouse in any corner until a cross appears. Hold the left button down and drag the box to wherever you'd like it to be. It's important to triple check your ads and flyers to make sure that you haven't missed any areas where your phone number, address or salon name need to be changed. Ask a friend or staff member to proofread it for you before you send it to print. It's very easy to miss mistakes on something you've edited yourself. Once you've made the necessary changes, it's time to save the document. Click on the circle in the top left of your screen and select Save As from the drop-down menu. In the left column of the pop-up window, you can choose where you want to save the file. Saving it to your desktop makes it easy to find later. Now, most printing companies won't accept Word documents. For that, you'll need to convert your document to a PDF. You can do that for free online by going to www.cutepdf.com.